Welcome to Eat Your Backyard, my YouTube channel where I talk about all kinds of cool things that I like to eat or just grow and not eat because some of them are actually quite poisonous. But this is not one of those things. This is aloe vera. This is actually the typical kind of medical aloe vera that you would see. And uh, as I tell the, ta the tale of aloe vera, it's one thing to consider aloe vera in a nice little pot growing in a contained environment. However, if you take the cuttings it produces and you make many more, plant it many more places, it will multiply quite quickly and uh, that's a lot of aloe vera. I once filled four yard waste containers with nothing but aloe vera. It was the wild type of aloe vera, which is a different variety than this, but it grew very quickly and spread out in all directions. And Anyhow, so now I have this and when we get a sunburn, not on purpose, we come out here and cut one of these off, which is more than enough for everybody in my whole family, and we use it, and then it grows a new one, and it's very easy, and now I can come back here and I have a medicinal spot. In contrast, there's one other type of aloe that I like very much. That's actually not aloe. I believe that's the type of agave. It's this aloe, and if you look at that, it's not hard to see why you might want to have one of those in your yard. Its leaves, you know, generally come down and get very close to the ground and cover it. It gets extremely big. This is not even as big as it will get. You can see it's getting pretty big. Uh, I will tell you that these spines, though, they are less of a joke than other aloe spines. So they will absolutely put a hurting on you if you were to, you know, rake your hand across it or stab into it. So it's not like a cactus, but it's still a succulent in a way that it's, you know, very delicate, but yeah, they, it does have those spines. But I like it, I just have one, I keep it off the beaten track, so to speak, and uh, it seems to be growing pretty well, but there's a lot of different types of aloe. These are two types, I mean, there are hundreds of types of aloe, without a doubt. And I think I may have one or two more types in my yard. At one point I had five, and uh, just over the years, you know, have, uh, changed areas and things have come and gone but I have these two remaining now and I would encourage you to grow them certainly grow them inside uh, they typically grow these little pup plants all around the outside that you can just break off at the main stalk of the mother plant and then replant in potting soil and they grow very well from cuttings so almost a hundred percent one technique is to let the cutting dry out for just a little bit but I just put it right in there and not overwater it but yeah aloe vera especially the medicinal medical aloe vera which is what you want when you have any kind of skin situation burned skin rashes whatever but also I mean it's amazing that it actually works it really does work the other thing I've heard you can eat it for stomach problems that sounds pretty gross to me so but I suppose it's worth it if it solves cures it so thank you for watching eat your backyard and thank you for uh, liking the video down below if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching Eat Your Backyard.